The fuses come in all different shapes and sizes. So how do you know which one is right for your room? My name is Nick with GIK Acoustics, and in this video, we will cover the different types of diffusers and help you decide where to place them for best results. To answer those questions, we first have to revise how the fusion works, as well as explore the fundamental topologies. While a flat surface, like walls and ceilings, reflects sound with the same intensity, a scattering surface redirects sound based on its frequency, which breaks up the reflection and reduces the intensity. We can use that to our advantage and retain the sonic energy within the room while simultaneously treating echoes and early reflections that otherwise would cause interference and distortion with the direct audio signal. The main topologies are MLS, QRD, two-dimensional or hemispherical diffusers, and combined absorption diffusion devices. MLS diffusers are a more rudimentary design based on a sequence of wells with the same depth. These are often used in architectural acoustic design to prevent high-frequency flutter echo. MLS diffusers operate within a fairly narrow spectrum, whereas QRD diffusers feature an improved, wider bandwidth based on quadratic residue, an abstracted mathematical concept now widely used in acoustical engineering. Both our Q7D and grid fusers are calculated using the quadratic residue to cope with a wide range of reflections in studios or two-channel listening rooms that require higher quality treatment in order to achieve the necessary separation and microdynamics. Such even diffusion will retain the liveliness and ambience of a room while effectively attenuating harsh reflections and reverb that will otherwise be picked up by the ear or the microphone. Two-dimensional diffusers use a grid of wells with varying depths, following a matrix of either a quadratic residue or a primitive root sequence to scatter sound in a hemispherical pattern. Being more sophisticated than a QRD design, two-dimensional diffusers offer the widest possible bandwidth and scattering both vertically and horizontally. That is why they are known for making your room sound larger than it actually is. Our Gotham N23 diffuser follows a primitive root sequence and the even hemispherical scattering opens up the soundstage considerably across the entire frequency spectrum. The only real downside of classic diffuser designs is that it takes about four to six feet for the scattered sound to fully unfold. This problem often occurs in small rooms where space is tight and an alternative solution must be found. With a thin diffusion plate on top of an absorber or bass trap, combined absorption diffusion devices or app fusers simultaneously provide uniform sound diffusion at high and mid-band frequencies, crossing over to absorption of lower frequencies. Instead of using phase shift like other diffusers, these devices use a variation in amplitude to achieve the diffusion. The result is a much closer minimal distance, as well as the opportunity to incorporate deep bass traps behind the diffusion plate, something that is essential in small rooms. The Alpha and Impression series are great examples of how this technology is implemented. While the Alpha series achieves precise scattering following a binary sequence, the Impression series prioritizes elegance and style, offering even amounts of absorption and diffusion. This makes the Alpha and Impression series panels an incredible versatile tool to control the acoustics in any hi-fi room, studio, office or living room. Where to place diffusion devices depends on the size of the room, the listening position, as well as the speaker placement. In small rooms, we simply don't get the necessary distance between the side walls and the loudspeakers for the fusion to fully unfold and attenuate the reflections, which is why broadband absorbers like our 242 or 244 panels are a much better choice here. We also need to focus on bass trapping, so combining deep bass traps with the Alpha series or the Impression series diffusion plates is an optimal strategy to treat the back wall, improving the response across the entire frequency spectrum without over dampening the mid-range and the troubles. In larger spaces, we still need to use absorption to control the decay times. However, the Q7D or the hemispherical Gotham N23 diffuser can thrive if you have the necessary distance between the walls, the speakers, and your listening position. But you don't have to work out all of this by yourself. Our free acoustic advice will help you get the best absorbers, diffusers, and bass traps for your space. You can either use the acoustic advice form on our website, or speak directly with one of our talent designers who will develop a treatment plan tailored exactly to your needs. Let us know down in the comments if you have any questions regarding diffusion or what kind of issues you are currently experiencing in your room. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational videos 
and follow the link below to submit your free acoustic advice form to get the very best sound for your space.